welcome to my channel now we will prepare a professional attendance sheet you can see here here is the company logo and the name we can type and the employee details here id name and designation we can add more or what we want in the next columns and here we can select the month uh, for the attendance sheet which month we are going to use when we select month see here in the february there are 28 days and the uh, week days are updated automatically here select the march there is 31 days this is fully dynamic attendance sheet and you can select the years as well from this combo box and if there is two week offs you can select two of them from uh, two different boxes and if there's only one of the week off you can select none from one of them and the week off from another one if there is two week off you can select two of them saturday and sunday whatever it is and here you can see the conditional formatting is applied uh, for the week off days are highlighted in light gray color when you change it you can see the differences and present absent half day are denoted by these uh, letters you can copy and paste them here see one should paste copy and paste them see you can see the differences it will update it automatically there are 25 employees there's ids are here uh, once you remove the ids from some of employees the total employees will be updated here according to the number of employees you can update this and the number of presence absence and half day for the total months will be updated automatically this is a fully dynamic professional attendance sheet you can use in your organization uh, quickly let us uh, know how to prepare this let's take a new workbook worksheet and now quickly we will prepare the dashboard behind this attendance sheet Okay, now we will take few combo boxes for the year, month, and week of one and two. Okay, now we will take combo boxes for this each selection from developer menu in the insect. We can fit the combo box here. okay now here we will add fraction absent and half day for the fraction it is p absent a and half day h we can indicate them now in from the second seat we can add the month month january to december here yes we will select few of the years as we want uh, or else we can add more years as per the need in this column we will add the big days also we will add none if there is no week we can select none that's why okay here in this compo box right click and the format control in the control we can add the input range this is for the year so this is the year selection we can pick the cell link from here okay in the drop down we will take 10 years resetting okay done um, but in this month from the format control input range is this month selling this one mm, there are 12 months so all months will be in the drop down okay 
now we can select one of the year here 2023 one of the month here february we can see them the row numbers are updated here so this is year this is month this is week of one this is week of two right also we can select the link for week of one and week of two okay everything done now we can select the week of one if there is saturday's week from this organization you can choose that if sunday also you can choose them okay now the row numbers are updated here now we will write index function and get the month years and week of this uh, respective row numbers index the array for the year is this one this column is that column comma the row number is nine okay respectively we can take them for the another three okay we got the text okay from the dashboard now we will uh, add the employee details id name and designation you can add the employees ids here once you update the employees id you can get the total number of employees here so we will count the employees numbers using count function selecting this shape total employee shape equation in the formula bar and select this count function use cell in this row there will be the date one two three four like wise until 31st okay and here will be week days sunday monday likewise okay in the second sheet we will get the first day of the month starting day of the month and end day of the month start day of the month is using date function year monday year this cell just we'll fix that cell and the month from this row second row we'll fix that the first day of the date so february 1st 2023 we can change it from using format cells control one format cells drop pop-ups will appear this is the date and from the customs we can change it whatever we want In this format we if we need we can change okay end of the month we can take it using eo month function the date is this one start date the month is the same one so zero okay select so this and format painter and apply now here the first day in this cell cell h3 using equal sign we can select the starting day of the month Control one to get the format cells pop up box the date then custom we we need this as numbers the day so we'll type d d two times d 
So it will appear as 0, 1, first day of the month. So here, equal this day plus 1. So the second day. So we, we can track it to until 31st. We'll remove this. We need until the end of the month. So there we have to change using if function if this h3 h3 cell plus one is less than or equal to the end of month, which is here. We'll fix that end of month, comma. Just we will print the h3 plus one cell or else empty okay we got it when we rack it until the end of the month you can see there are 28 days in this month so it is february right so february there is 28 days but there are errors coming so to avoid the errors we will Type the if error function before this function. If error, print this or else empty. Now it will be corrected. Just we will write it. This way we won't. Okay. This printed until end of the month. Okay. We will remove this. Now all is correct. Now here equal this this is the date right this date using text function we will take the week so equal text function values this data date from h3 cell comma the format text we need as the double quotes d d d so double quotes it will come as the big days okay now we will write this until 31 28 9 Okay, we got it everything. Now we will make some alignments. Finally, we need to get the total presence of the month and the absence and half day. Okay, here we will use the hound is function. Hound if range is the first row and the criteria is Present. If it is present, count if. The same row, comma, for the option. The third one for half day. We done. Now we will write them down for the all employees. Okay, here we will use some function or auto sum. Now here in the save equal sign in the formula bar, we will select this. This is total presence of the month. And this is total absent of the month. Equal this one. And this is total half day of the month. Okay. Yeah. Now we will select this and make some lighter colors. Now we will select the employees using Format Painter. We will apply to another. Now everything done. Now we can change the year. See, 2024 February, there is 29 days. We can change the month, April, there are 30 days. We can change the week off. We'll do one more thing. Select this 
range from the format pointer shortcut is alt plus o plus d to get the conditional formatting rules manager new rule we'll add a new rule here select this cell double sign only before the number the row not row is not going to change the column is going to change so that is equal if that is equal the v o one then we will highlight some color second rule the same cell if this is equal week of two then highlight some the same color Okay, done. What are the week of selected here? Those columns are highlighted as the those days are week of. We can choose any days, Tuesday and Sunday. Tuesday and Sunday are, are the week of. We can select uh, Saturday and uh, uh, non only one day uh, week of for the uh, for this organization. Then we can select. If it is Sunday and Sun Saturday, we can select two days. So two days are week off uh, for the organization. So everything done. We can update uh, the present absence and half day. Copy this fresh and uh, this employee present for these days and absent for a few days and half day for a few days. Okay, we can see total employees to add is updated here. Total presence for this month, total absence for this month, total half day for this month. This is fully automated, professional attendance sheet you can use in your organization.